and welcome to Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles on the Sigma Mega Drive. I am one wild sheep yet again, and this is what many people consider to be the single greatest Sonic game ever made. For me, it's my second favorite Sonic game. It's an absolutely amazing experience, and already my LP is different from most LPs, and I'm gonna go into why a bit later on. But to start things off, we can now save the game and select our characters between Sonic, Sonic and Tails, Tails alone, and Knuckles. But anyway, to start things off, oh my gosh, we're supersonic, oh! Does this mean we can fly straight through, stop Eggman, and break the game? We're gonna win everything and, oh, Jesus Christ, why Knuckles? Yes, meets the new character in this game, Knuckles the Echidna. A very interesting character, if I do say so myself, and uh, we're gonna see more and more of him as we progress through this game. Be it Sonic 3 and Knuckles, folks. Now, as you saw at the start of the game, the title screen said Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and that's slightly different from most LPs, because uh, this game is originally one game that's been split up into two parts. And if you go across here, you find this giant golden ring. Giant golden rings lend you into special stages. I'll talk about them a bit later on. But um, yeah, this game was originally two... Well, this game is actually two games that was originally one game. But due to development problems, they split the game up into two halves. So, this game was actually released under the name of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and then separately, the second half of the game was released under the name Sonic and Knuckles. Now, what's the interesting thing about this? Well, basically, the game, the second game, had a unique cartridge where you could actually attach Sonic the Hedgehog 3 onto the top of the cartridge itself, which would unlock the full experience of the game. Now, most people already, most people do LPs of this game while both games are attached. Me, I'm starting off the first half as Sonic 3 alone because there's a couple of differences between the two versions that I would like to explain. For one thing, Sonic and Knuckles, when it's attached to Sonic 3, actually serves as a uh, patch so it gets rid of some glitches that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 had, among some mini minor differences, like some slight level design changes. Anyway, without me explaining the special stage at all, there's the first of the seven Chaos Emeralds again, ooh. And the Chaos Emeralds in this game are actually quite a bit different from what they are like in the other Sonic games, because, well, now we need to go and explore the zones, look for giant golden rings in each zone. When you go into a giant golden ring, you'll be sent to a special zone, which will allow you to collect the Chaos Emeralds, much like in previous Sonic games, except in this game, as you can tell, the special zones have quite a unique twist. They're sort of like a pseudo-isometric 3D sort of deal. And I'll, I'll start explaining them a bit more when we get to the next of them. You know, next special zone. But with that, the music in this game, oh my god, some of my favorite Sonic music of all time. And we're actually about to meet a mini boss. Now if you heard about that, that sounded a lot like Michael Jackson, didn't it? It's going, whoa, come on, come on. Well, that's because I don't know how true this is, but apparently Michael Jackson actually worked on the music of this game. And up there, that little spinning thing, we'll show off a bit later on down the line in the playthrough, but uh, when you get to a checkpoint with a certain number of rings, you can actually break, go through a certain spinny saw sort of deal, and they'll send you to a bonus stage where you can get extra rings and stuff. But anyway, as this, as the special stage blatantly tells you, you need to collect the blue spheres. Basically, during these special stages, there are a number of types of spheres that you need to collect. Well, you only need to collect the blue ones, but... There's a couple in the entire stage, like these the bouncer ones that basically bounce you back. There's the red spheres, which if you touch a red sphere, bye bye. You're not gonna get, well, you're gonna die. You're not getting Chaos Emeralds, son. So basically the objective is to collect all these blue spheres by running into them while avoiding all of the red spheres. And honestly, it's not that bad a special stage. If you see a giant group of blue spheres done in sort of like a rectangle formation, Basically, go around the outside and they will all transform into rings. If you collect every single type, you know, every single ring that you can possibly get in a special stage, you'll get yourself a continue. Something I'm not gonna bother doing because, let's face it, it's a waste of time. This is Sonic 3. It's not. I don't know, I can't think of a very difficult in the game. But it's not a hard game. This is actually a very easy game, but they, they basically throw 
lives at you throughout the entirety of it. It's insane how many lives you can get. <laughs> Cats have nine lives. Well, check me out. I gotta go fast. And I have over 30. Whoa! <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's the second Chaos Emerald for the picking. Anyway, this first zone, Angel Island zone, is a is not so much your traditional first Sonic level. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, your first Sonic level usually is just a simple green zone, or it's a beach type zone. This looks like a green zone, yeah, even though it's completely on fire in the second half of the first act. But, what's unique about it is this zone actually has water, and the Entire second, the entire first half of Sonic 3 and Knuckles has water in every single zone of the game. It's freaking insane. Anyway, first mini boss of the game, we've already seen him. All you want to do is just jump on him, boop him on the head six times. If Tails can screw you over like that, and it really pisses me off when he does. <laughs> but basically, just keep booping him on the head. Your fire shield will basically make his attacks useless, because what he does, he shoots flamethrowers at you and bombs. Napalm bombs. And honestly, Easy peasy, first boss of the game, if you die against him. How? <laughs> but of course, one unique thing, well... I don't know if it's really unique, but one of the interesting things they introduced in Sonic 3 and Knuckles is that every second act of the zone actually has a remix tune of the zone's level, which basically sounds like an up-tempo remix, and I don't know, I just love... I love it. I love this game's soundtrack. It's just, ooh, it's gushing with quality. Mmm, mmm, saucy. <laughs> anyway, for this first stage, but you're basically gonna want to continue going forward and, well, what a stupid thing to say. You gotta keep going forward. What are you doing, Sonic games? Uh, you go forward, boss. <laughs> no, what you want to do is basically uh, follow this very linear path. For the most part, these special stages are extremely linear. But you can go off the beaten path if you want to. Would I recommend going off the beaten path? No. No, no, not at all. Because then you find yourself jumping around like a lunatic trying to dodge all the red spheres and... It's a bit of a nightmare, shall we say. So yeah, just collect the blue spheres and... Um, all is fun. <laughs> oh, the music though, it's so good. It's so good. And this is probably, I consider this special stage to be the easiest special stage series in the entire franchise. Now, I have failed these special stages during this playthrough, not, well, not this playthrough, during the Knuckles portion of the game, I failed them, and I'll get into that when I get into the Knuckles portion, but basically, they're easy. They're easy. I only really ever fail these things from doing really stupid mistakes, like, Whoa, what's that over there? Oh no, my button slipped. Whoa! I don't know why I did the sonic voice for that, but yeah. Basically, you need to turn left and right, and you can actually jump as well, which will be made use of in later special stages. But for now, let's just progress on. And yeah, we got three Chaos Emeralds already, and it's still the first zone. Hmm. How many Emeralds will I get in this first zone, might you ask? Well, I'm not getting all seven of them. So I'm going to spoil that right now. But hey, water in my Sonic game. And now to get in, actually now to get into uh, one of the new features of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Now, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 introduces Spin Dash, and basically, all the moves from previous Sonic games are still here. You can still do the Spin Dash by crouching and pressing the jump button, and you can still jump by pushing the jump button. I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, what's new in this Sonic game is now if you push the jump button twice, you can activate a character unique move. Sonic the Hedgehog, for example, by here, has something called an instant shield, which should... You saw me use Belair, actually. He basically shoots out a tiny little shield that will extend his range of his attacks, and he'll also be able to, um... clip through certain enemy attacks, and it, it's a very useful move. Tails has the ability to fly. Mm. He can't fly forever though, so he doesn't break the game as you would expect. But he's a... Uh, Tails is a pretty fun character for exploring. And Knuckles has the ability to glide and climb up walls. More Knuckles later, even though I have no idea how he can glide. He has like no wings, nothing that can... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I'm talking about a video game starring a blue hedgehog, his fox friend, and a red echidna that looks nothing like an echidna. Ugh. 
For those of you who don't know, echidnas are actually, uh, Australian... I think they're an Australian mammal, and they eat ants, and they have, they have giant long noses. <laughs> they like to be nosy, which is quite ironic considering Knuckles is socially inept in these games. Actually, in terms of plot, this game is actually quite interesting. Basically, after the end of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Tails captures Sonic, saves Sonic, and it's all, everything's all well and good. Except, when you have the Chaos Emerald, Sonic saves himself, and Tails is just useless, so... Either way, you destroy the Death Egg, but the remains of the Death Egg fall down and land on Angel Island! Ooh! And, uh, basically... <laughs> don't know why the voice, but basically, when they landed on Angel Island, Eggman started rebuilding, he started trying to improve his Death Egg creation, and he ran into this island's one resident, Knuckles. And the unique thing about this island is it's actually floating in the sky. But anyway, he managed to go to Knuckles and trick him into thinking that Sonic and Tails have brought an army of robots and uh, are effectively trying to take over the island and steal Knuckles' Master Emerald, which is actually the key as to why this island is floating, and we're gonna find out more about this Master Emerald as time goes on. Anyway, new another new feature of this game is the Elemental Shields. You have three of them in the game. You have the Electric Shield, which brings all the rings in an area towards you. You have the Fire Shield, which I got by here, which allows you to do a jump fireball blast. Whee! And uh, basically, that's all there is to that. And you get the bubble shield, which allows you to breathe underwater, and, ooh, and here's the kicker. You can bounce on it. Mm. It basically gives you the bound attack, which allows you to basically jump in the air, push the jump button again, you bounce on the floor, and you can bounce higher and higher. And it's actually an attack that Sonic gets as a normal ability later down in the franchise, which is quite interesting. Anyway, the giant mech that's throwing bombs, so let's just uh, run straight ahead and it won't hurt you. Why the bomb is, why they're dropping the bombs behind Sonic is absolutely beyond me, but I digress. Time to take on the first boss of the game. Eggman, I knew you were up to no good. Way to go, Tails. <laughs> But basically, for this boss fight by you, he's basically going to shoot fireballs at you, and uh, he's going to take out the bridge. When you have the fire shield, you're invincible, just keep booping him until he dies. But when he takes out the bridge, be careful, because the moment that a fireball touches the bridge, the bridge will be considered a non-object, which means, well, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna fall through the bridge, basically. So, uh, yeah, keep away from the bridge when you're shooting fireballs, and that is basically the end of Act 1. And the first part of the video, so let's just move on to you. Whoa! Who are you? I'm like Sonic, I won't chuckle. Which is an absolute lie. That guy over there chuckles all the time, Knuckles the Echidna. And we're going to see more of Chuckles in the next part. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. When we return next time, we'll take on Hydro City Zone. And stop Knuckles and Eggman. Thanks for watching. See you after. Bye!